figured out a way to get us to Haiti. Yeah, I probably start you. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well, let's see how this goes. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. So this is the one with the, uh, the boat, uh, rhythm? Okay. That's gonna be interesting then. This is also, I think, our longest world yet. I think this one actually has eight keys. Don't oh, quote geez. me. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. If it gets too long, we might have to split this up into two segments. Sorry, That's fine. Eli, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. <laughs> My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. I've already the forgotten what it was. Walk. The roots and vines around here are perfect. They're all walking out. We can run All a long you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Oh, I see. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. <laughs> nice. Alright. Yeah, it's been I think I think it's just one hand. I think it's just one hand. Even like trying to jump up and slide by tapping is like tapping into it. Tapping? Like that? I know. Okay. Let's not kill ourselves, please. You can't remember? Remember? Oh right. I okay. Yeah. I tells you how much I remember. Um. I do remember what the power level is for this level actually. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's possible. I'm not gonna tell you. Don't worry, we're fine. I feel like I missed something, is it? Can I, do I go around this? No, oh, well. Yeah, this is kind of a little annoying. Mm. Especially those mosquitoes. Oh! Can I not jump on that? No. Oh, wait, do I go around? You go around. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm trying to make so I, sure I don't... ...miss... ...things... Okay, that's the way forward, I think. Wait, did I screw myself? Huh? Uh, that's what happened. Ah! Okay, I need to... One? Maybe get back? What happened? I looked away. I just jumped to the platform. I don't know if I want to be here yet. I don't think so. Just get hit by, can you get hit by the guy again, or do you already hit checkpoint? There's a Are checkpoint you, right here, so... Can you exit? Wait, can you start exit? I don't know if I need to. Hold on. Oh. Okay, and there's a checkpoint right here, so you can Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> So if I, I wonder, just go through here. I, 
Get rid of him first. Yeah, it's like, go down there's the way to go. Uh. I don't think we can make this. Yeah. That's what I was afraid and, of. And wouldn't it be something we didn't need to go here? <laughs> Thank God, quick. <laughs> yeah, the load time's nice. I think it's actually. I think it's just. I think oh. it was just during the original as well. Yeah. I don't remember PS2 <laughs> games suffering from like lo long. Well, some exceptions, but. Uh, how you, how you how you doing uh how you doing Crash Four? Yeah, or well, the original Crash Four. Uh, oh gosh. But like. Yes, I am here. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot. A lot of the sixth generation games, I don't recall have good. Don't recall having too many like loading screen issues. I might be wrong, but at least the games I played didn't have too many. Depends on. It just depends on the game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it depends on how well they're optimized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some game yeah, some games like Ralph of course it's existed, but you know. They were the yeah, mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, I think the sequence broke. <laughs> Was I not supposed to do it like that? No, Wait, I what? Go back up there, go back up there. No no, I meant like when you originally went through. Yeah, uh, wait, okay, so... Follow the path, follow the, follow the path, follow the path. Okay. How do I sequence break? Just follow, yeah, follow these. That's what I did. Go here. No, oh, I see, okay, right, yeah. That's what you meant by sequence broken, that's what to jump across. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. I I couldn't tell if that was like the way to go or if it was it like just secret. Well. <laughs> I guess in the idea they wanted you to go for with the fact that since you could see the path ahead, it's or er, since you knew this stuff was here. Right. By the way, the thing is two enemies. Ah. Ugh, gross. I do have one conversation topic, but I wanna. Save it for when we get to a gimmick stage because it's relevant now. But other than that, I I don't really have anything to talk about, so I guess we'll just. I mean, go low. I mean, it doesn't help that the idiot, the intro to this area is really ah. quick. Oh. Sorry, it's a, sorry, it's a little small. Quite a few bottles around here. Oh, nice. Five. Is that all of them? Yeah, we can jump across. Yeah, we can just jump across from here now. Well, I could have sworn there was a bottle hidden in an alcove. <laughs> it might where? have been one of those in where the where one of the, that uh, monster was. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll move ahead. If we miss it, we miss it for now. A little small, so. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to get through this. By that they mean they'll ambush you if they see ah, you. <laughs> I see. Bentley's uh, voice cracks me up. They're mean and they work like a team. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. If you get if you get seen, run back to the be beginning of the area. I think. Stealth in or my stealth in my thief game. What is this? Ah. Get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. I think that's all the guards, so now we just gotta break the things and grab the uh, grab the bottles that are around here. They're Hopefully safe too. Oh, any I can't see. Oh hi. That's it. I 
Where'd everybody go? <laughs> they, they just went on break, it's fine. Okay, two more. There's the way out. Oh, okay, there they are. Yep. Cool. Don't forget to break the candle. Okay, what was this gonna be? Circles to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be five eight eight. Okay. Oh man, not even close. I knew you were gonna go. I, I saw you were doing. I'm like, you're oh. gonna do six two six, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So by the way, you remember that roll power up? Yes. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. So it actually Plus damages it now? give you a nice tingling sensation. Uh, yes, I believe it actually damages now. Oh, cool. I think you have to have momentum, though. Huh. So now try your roll. And that looks lame as fuck, by the way. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> It, lo it looks like a, like, some, like, uh, a, I don't even know, like, some... Can you destroy things with it? You gotta you got break the candle first. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's what Bentley was telling you to do. Oh. See if your roll can damage these. Okay, de definitely can't do that one. Uh... Like that one. Oh, cool. Nice. So yeah, it does damage. Ah! <laughs> You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key! Arr! Nice. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I believe I believe we have two gimmick levels here. Okay. I know one of them here is the bomb tone roosters. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun to say, I don't know why. <laughs> My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Okay. Woo. All right, where do you want to go? Oh, it's in the stage. Good. He's having fun. <laughs> like, it was this about. The music. <laughs> by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only huh. have two minutes to get all the torches lit. That's unique. That's just... And go. Alright, let's see how this goes. You can have, and you can also have a, char a match of five charges. Ah! Can you... Is that oh. like, no, that's not what I wanted to do. No, there's no boost or anything. Okay. Alright. Fairly simple minigame. So I was going um, the conversation uh, topic I was gonna mention is uh, uh, how do you guys feel like uh, just in general about like gimmick stages or stuff like this where like it's not exactly the main uh, core gameplay um, 
and it's like the game like trying to spice things up a bit. Um, um depends on how it's done, but but mainly as long as there's an overstay, it's welcome. Um, I think it, for me it depends on the genre, yeah, how it's done, um, and these the gimmick uh, in question, I guess. So I, for the most part, I don't. I, I do enjoy variety. Uh, I I feel like there should. I feel like they should be spaced out as well. I feel like if you do like, oh, we keep picking on, on this game, but if you do like a Rafa Cortex where you um, have a bunch of like gimmick stages or like vehicles within regular stages all the time, it kind of gets a bit annoying, especially when a lot of those gimmicks themselves are kind of bad. <laughs> um, but like. Yeah, I think it in a game like this, I think it works because it's uh I know. I, I think especially when it's when it involves like Bentley and Murray, like you, I feel like they kind of they should have like different kinds of gameplay. Um And I do do enjoy just good. I do enjoy just yeah. being put in these different scenarios. And I feel like yeah, I, again, I feel like some genres work with it better than others. I think collectathons work really well with it because you're already kind of going through these worlds and being put in these different uh, scenarios and challenges. And, like, like the yeah, fact I'm, that... I mean, because, like, that's yeah. kind of what, in a way, that's where I was a bunch of uh, doing some uh, Moon's Mario Odyssey is like. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's like, yeah. each of the little chapter in itself is like a different thing. Yeah, because I feel like if it's just if a collector phone is just like you're collecting things and there's no um, meat to it, I guess it does get a little bit stale after a while. Whereas if if they they put more gimmicks and unique challenges into each world, is you can I feel like it's more memorable at at the very least because like you think of like a world from Tui, for example, and you think okay in in uh, I don't know, Grunty Industries, this, like, you do, like, these specific challenges and stuff like that, as opposed to, oh, it's a new world, let's get the same collectibles again and that's it, if that makes sense. I get what you mean. Um, you know, it's... Yeah. Wait, what? I think I'm hungry. <laughs> So, oh. that's, 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 yeah, we probably just need a bunch of patterns to it. It's just the piranhas, like, the fast. Depends on the frequency, the, the frequency, how it's spaced out, how, how it can pull. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. good gimmick stages. Yeah. Yeah, that piranha just did it. <laughs> yeah. I, I... That would be a mild disagreement. I would say that uh, collectathon, the meat is in the mini games. It's still the the collecting on the field. The mini games just ways to keep things from getting. It's a seasoning yeah. to keep the meat from. Getting... Yeah, it's, it's right. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean that is like a level. Like I know what the taste like a faces, but sometimes that can be a game downfall. It can be, yeah. It's like it needs to be done well. It's like Donkey Kong 64 is, is an example of like the mini games I, and what not being. I was going to bring that up. Yeah, that, that's a case where the game just does it badly. Really, something bad on average, or are they just very frequent? Both. Oh, get that one. Get that one. We just need one more. We just need one more. Now let's find it. There it is, right by the entrance. Oh, great. 
Yeah, that wasn't that bad. All right, now I just gotta ride in there. Cool. Easy. Well, that kid was busy for a good. That kid was just talking for a good six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's. I guess it helps in some game games case where like uh, it helps it so you aren't doing one particular thing for too long. Um. So I feel. I feel like that's like the case for like Crash Free, for example. I feel like there's enough core platforming in that game to make it so the the uh, vehicle stages don't. Uh, like, take up too much game time, but they, it's also, they're also spaced out in a way where, um, you're never doing one, like, one single thing for too long. Where is it? Over there? Probably the robot on your left. That's Finder. He's not gonna move, you gotta go around him. Uh oh. A great undertaking. Yeah, I will say this: there, there are some games that same there. I do think there are some game genres that don't really work with that kind of stuff. Uh, like I, I haven't played enough of them to really say con like concretely that this is like absolute or anything. But I feel like something like a Metroidvania probably wouldn't really work. Changing Why, the formula. I feel like here. that. My paranormal scanners show this place is really mm -hmm. hot. Ah. I, I imagine most of them just don't bother so I can give up can verify that one way or the other. Yeah, no, I I, I could be proven wrong, but like uh, the way I now that was very interesting. <laughs> as soon as Bentley stops talking. Stone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind ah. of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all you'd be safe. Okay, what was uh thing? Uh Okay, what I was trying to say is that since Metrovanias are meant to be like just these big maps where you just go around and find secrets and the items and all that, uh, something like that I don't f feel really works just having like a random different section that changes the gameplay up. I Again, I could be wrong, but that, that's, what I f that's what it feels like to me. Most of the Metroidvanias I play don't really do that, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I, I feel like they make sense to be like this one focus like adventure, and then that's basically a... Well, the whole appeal of a Metroidvania is like the whole... Like, like you're exploring a big map and progressively being able to open more and more of it. Yeah, yeah, so it, it doesn't... Like, for a game like that, it doesn't really fit. Right. Unless you, unless you can, like... unless uh, I'd like to be... I'd like to see something to prove me wrong, but... Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I think the thing is as well to take away from this is to don't put in, uh, like, gimmicks or, um, what was it, li liven things up just for the sake of it. Um, you died. Yeah. <laughs> I, Maybe I, your role was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, there should be some, uh, I guess, what should we call it? So, sometimes, sometimes you want to, like, ease up a little bit and not put, like, a million gimmicks. Like, the, you, you, I feel like you should have some, like, you know, I, I words. It's important to know there's a difference between what we're talking about and, like, different gameplay style. Right. You know what I mean? I guess so. I mean, it's well, because I mean, I'm, I I use like Sonic as like an example. I mean, by gameplay style. Right. This basically just makes me invincible. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> you can't sit still. You have to be moving. You need momentum. Yeah. So he is Sonic. I mean, I don't mind, like, different gameplay styles, I think, I, I guess it depends on how, like, I guess it, it depends on, like, how egregious it is and how many there are. Yeah, like, um, I 
I mean, I guess, I guess in a way Sonic was sick. Because <laughs> everybody plays differently. Right. They play that differently, like, I mean... They I mean, very the thing with Sonic 06 is that the the thing is like the uh, the state the stage like goal doesn't change. It's just the fact that like the characters just aren't fun to play. So when when you have um, okay, that just doesn't work. Um, we had to break the base zones anyways. Uh, yeah. So when you have like all these different characters that are just more, more and more annoying to play than like the previous ones, it's just kind of a yeah. <laughs> like it's not really a ma like in 06's case, it's not really a matter of like different gameplay styles. It's the fact that they have so many characters that you play as that just none of them got finished to a point where they're actually enjoyable to play. So it's like. I mean, it's like, ugh, oh, goodness gracious, I can't talk. Nothing makes it. Well, okay, good. Apparently, good. Sonic of Six is. Got you, man. I don't think it's entirely Sonic of Six's problem because all of the. You know, the all the furry animal friends. <laughs> close to Sonic's gameplay. The friends are close to Sonic. Are in like SA1 or SA2. Yeah, yeah, the thing, because I was gonna. They'll still. Yeah. Well, I'll continue. Tail plays closer to Sonic. <laughs> Sonic picks and he's an adventure too, basically, so. Right, yeah, I was gonna. That, yeah, that's what I was getting at as well. Like, the characters in 06, they don't have, like, ga like uh, the gameplay itself. Like, the goal doesn't change, but it's like. Yeah, it's just the actual lack of polish that makes them not fun. Well, that also is, that's also an example of why Crash 4, um, It's About Time, is a good example. Yeah, yeah. Because all of them, because they, they all play differently, but, but, but the core thing is still the same. Yeah. But that's a but that is different from a gimmick level. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I, I think both ways of doing it can can work, like having different characters have different kind of objectives in like a game where characters all have the same kind of objective, but like the level, the levels generally still f follow the, the, the same like basic formula. Um, like is it, like SA1 for, for example, I do, on one hand I do like the, you, you're allowed to pick one specific story and work with that playstyle for, um, like, until you finish it. Um, but at the same time, that game is, like, <laughs> an absolute mess, to put it lightly, and, uh, there's, it, it does way too many things at once, which you, when, when you do a lot of the, when, when you do, like, any story outside of Sonic, you can really tell that where the, <laughs> the attention lied, uh, and then when you get to SA2, um, you die, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, when you get to SA2, they, they um, streamlined it so it's only three playstyles. And while it doesn't have the uh, thing that SA1 did where you can stick to one playstyle until you beat it. Um, oh my god, please. Hitbox. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have the thing oh. where you stick to one playstyle, but at the same time, it does just the thing that I that I was talking about that Crash Free does, where it, you're never doing one specific thing for too long. And oh my god, please, <laughs> these enemies well, suck. <laughs> uh, Maybe the dive, yeah, dive would have been better. And I think about it. Yeah, no, I think yeah, you know what? Screw it. You have to get a horsey right here. I <laughs> I was trying to, to change my. Yeah, I guess is uh, I guess the other question is like, um, would you prefer just sticking to one playstyle, or just or like being able to like switch up so it's like, you know, you're not doing the same thing for super long? I, I think it depends on the game, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I think it depends on the game because like, 
What, like, let's play, if, let's say I'm playing a game for the first time, a new game for the first time. I'm not gonna know what I want until I, it actually happens. Yeah, that's fair. Like, like my opinion is gonna matter more. Oh. So, like, like if it, if like if I don't like the gameplay styles, I'm not, I'm only gonna really feel that. Oh, nice. After, after, after the fact. Yeah, I can get that. Just depend oh, like, on. Yeah. Just. Okay, don't dive these guys. Hit them first, then dive them. Yeah. The game and how the player. Uh, the Hollow. Play styles. Wait, wait. Did, I barely heard any of that. You, 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 you cut out a bit. <laughs> Oh, there's a one-up. Okay, I'm gonna presume you're gonna get back, so... I didn't hear it. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. Maybe drop in, drop out, maybe that'll fix it. I, I just did. Oh. Hi. Wow, we're, oh, wow, we're getting sh showered oh. with lies. I need that, because I keep yeah, dying. Like, yeah. And it's what you're saying about, like... So, for... Yeah, before my audio dies again, um... Just it's the it's just the case by case basis. It depends on how it bounds, how pushed they are, how they function. Like why I kind of get yeah, I guess wearing my Sonic fan more defender hat again, but like <laughs> I, I get that's why I get a little maybe annoyed when people just say don't use anything. Why I get annoyed when people say just to not have any alternative playstyles in Sonic games again, like you know, it's all just down to execution, like... Yeah, I, I, I don't think every game needs to do the Crash 4 approach, where it's like... Or like, even Sonic 06, I guess. But I, I enjoy different gameplay styles, they just need to be done well. And like... Uh, that's basically it. Oh... Nope. Oh dear. In Sonic's I, case, I think I'd just be happy to have multiple playable characters again. That too. I I think I think it's for me. It's like execute it well, and I think it should make sense for the character. Like you, I don't think. Uh, I'm trying to think of examples, but uh, you know, it. I think that that goes a long way in making it um, more enjoyable, at least on a base level, maybe. So Eggman in the mech, like that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I say like um, yeah, it's all just down to execution, I guess. How? It's been, um, how about compliments the main style and guess, how it fits the story? Like FA2 has streamlining uh, to its advantage, like that helps the narrative. Oh dear. Like that helps with its narrative being a little more, more slightly more cohesive. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say like, yeah. I mean, I've I brought this up myself. Um, yeah. I guess it's, again, it's execution. I guess and how with much you can tolerate a, a change of pace. Like, if you're playing a Sonic for the running, then yeah, the next stage of everything might wear thin on you, and you probably would prefer SA One's gameplay loop where you could just you know. We to ignore them. Right. Mm. Like, and I have heard people say they prefer how SA1 handles the stories, which I I, I get. It just a, it's just a matter of like how you prefer your games to be structured, I guess. Yeah, there's there's no one right way to make a game. Right. Like it's just an ad. Like 1998 had Spyro One. SA1 and Crash 3. Same genre, three very different approaches. Yeah. I I also bring this up as well, because I... And Banjo. Huh? And Banjo also came out in 98, so like... Right. We don't get that kind of variety in what was then a AAA genre that often. Yeah. Unfortunately, nowadays, I feel like we get a lot of the... Um, at least on Same the game over and over again. <laughs> kind of. At least for the Sony side, I feel like it's a lot of just a realistic, behind the shoulder kind of like um, uh, what is it? 
uh, quasi cinematic action adventure game. Ba yeah, basically, which I have no problem with that kind of game uh, as as it is, but it, I feel like it's kind of saturated the market a bit too much. There? What did I say? No, well, oh, wait, 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 go back, go back. You, you, no, 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 not there. Go back towards the face. Uh, the face. They're behind it. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is so... That, that's, that's funny. At, le at least we got it. Oh, let's, let's, see what, let's see what this is. Okay, okay, this is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. I'm never going oh, to Oh, wow. Please. What? Oh, okay, well, that was that's close. You got two of them, actually. Good job. <laughs> probably, probably closest ah, I'm gonna a get. A modern entry. Bruce O'Koop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, yeah, I should on be able to use the duty roster in each hideout and project guard information into your binocular. Oh, I say it's one of these. This is useless. It has literally no use. Oh yeah. But if you look at a guard of it, you get some fun facts about them. Okay, so it's a tattle mechanic. Oh, I see. Alright. Alright, now it's we got the gardening. Actually, the, 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 big, the, big, the, big, the guards here with the spotlights, the big rats, they like golfing. <laughs> hmm. <Yeah. laughs> oh. What is that? Just. There's to be one more to it. There's one there. Um, quote unquote gimmick level stage and mechanics, they have a right to exist, it's just down to execution. Um, like, what was I gonna say? Playing, playing It's About Time last year, I was like, like, it's rare for me to actually yearn oh, for stages, from. Oh, but. Right. You know, yeah. Uh, okay. That's the way forward, so we try there. I don't think we did this. Well, one. We, didn't this. we didn't do this one. Yeah. Like it's rare for me to actually actively yearn for gimmick stages, but yeah, I missed them a little. And it's about time. I yeah, no, I was, them. I was gonna say, uh, I I get it. I I like what because I know that's why some people like uh, Crash Two a lot. Um, the fact that it's like well, mostly platforming stuff. And that's what uh, it's about time. The whole. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Can't, can't interrupt this, this amazing guy. Really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Oh, I remember Chase. this stage. Chase, Chase level, by the way. Oh no. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I was. Okay. Trying to keep something in. Carmelita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that tr is that actually gonna happen? No. Let's find out. No. You'll, you'll see. Ah. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I like, I, I, yeah, that's why people like Crash 2 the most out of the trilogy. Uh, well, a lot of people do. Um, and that's what Crash 4 does, which I get. But at the same time, as someone that likes Crash 3 the most, I do kind of miss the gimmicks. <laughs> uh, mm. Like, I, I'm not saying like have a bunch of them, but like the fact that like Crash 4 basically has almost none is. Oh no, I can't help but just feel a little bit Yeah. I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed. But I know uh I'm probably in a minority with that. Mm. I don't know. I just I, I don't um I don't mind gimmicks, but like it going back going to crash specifically, uh get yeah. ready to swing. Here. Yeah. Going to crash specifically Ooh, what? Uh, crash specifically, I don't know. Uh, maybe I just like some more. I, maybe I just like the basic run and jump. I do too. Uh, don't get me wrong, but like I, I, I'm not saying like have a bunch of them, but like just I, don't know, I, I, I wouldn't have minded. Well, like, maybe that's why. Well, that's why Crash Two has so few. Right. Like all it has is uh three poor, three poor, uh three poor levels. Four if you want to count uh, unbearable. I mean, uh, yeah. Three and a quarter. Um, two jet and two jetpack levels. Two jetpack levels and, uh, I, I guess, like, half of the river levels has, like, the jetboard. 
Yeah, but that's not, but that's not there long enough that I think about that. that well, yeah, sense. well, yeah, but it's like, it's like a similar thing as like a Rafa Cortex level where at some point you get into a vehicle. So I, I still kind of count that. It's just okay. not, a, it's just not a full level. Fair. It's like because uh, yeah, I think Rafa, uh, the, it's about time you used the jetboard as well. So it does for one level, I believe. At least one, yeah. Oh no 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 two because the bot because the um because because of the Luis fight. Oh. What was I gonna say? <sighs> like I just I don't even think it's really sound enough for crashing. It's just I feel like it's about time. I just want to break from a regular level sometimes because it's yeah, so long. Yeah, I think I think that's. Well, yeah. I, I yeah. guess that's also why character level. I guess it's also why normally ever character levels are a thing. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but I don't think. Long. <laughs> I don't. F yeah, I feel like there's. It's like the. You better get going. I know we're gonna die. There is something in here. Oh god. Spooks. This this go dial. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Yeah. I know. Like uh, the thing is, I'm like, gonna fuck your ass. Yeah, jump on. Uh, I think with like character levels though, is they you're still playing the same kind of gameplay though, which is yeah. I don't think that's quite the same thing. Fair enough. I yeah, I get with me. I wouldn't even admit. I don't know. Wouldn't even mind that hair is that they looping back to often the same levels with Crash and Coco, but slightly oh, that, harder. Oh, yeah, no, that's a design. That, that's a design flaw. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, okay, that. Okay, that's something that that's something separate. Oh, good. Uh, that's something separate from what I'm talking about. But yeah, that that's something that. Yeah, that's not great. Like I, I wouldn't mind the I wouldn't mind like the alternate character levels being kind of just having a similar like, game in Looper. Just move, just, run. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, did you like the crocodile stage in Sonic Heroes? Yeah, that. Ah! What? Well, thank God for that water. <laughs> go, 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 go. Thank God for our ability to say fuck you to water. Jeez. No! Ah! Oh! Oh! Go, go. Go, 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 go. go. Uh. Yeah, yeah, thank God for our ability to say fuck you to water, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the, 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 ah! Ugh. He is really close to your ass. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this. Jump off. Okay. <laughs> Look around, it's well. safe to be around you. So, why does Snake stop? Just gave up. Just didn't feel like it anymore. I had to overcome some to get the answer. Personal demon. Try four, four. Personal demons. Four, four, four. Uh, okay. I wanted to. That should be a flop when you land him. I guess I also bring up the gimmick thing the because um, I see I I see some people who, like really <laughs> adamant that they shouldn't be in games, and I feel like that's going a bit too far in the other direction as well. I don't know. I don't think they should just be abolished completely. Kind of uh, you see, if I don't like them, they shouldn't exist. So, <laughs> and yeah, I, I, Dark Souls needs to get Dark Souls needs to get canceled. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what? If it doesn't, if I don't, if I'm not interested in it, then it shouldn't exist. That's how it works. 